I'm going to do a taste test. Um, so this is of the, uh, I'll show you in a sec. I'm just finding somewhere to chuck the phone. Let it lean up against. So this is, uh, I've never tried this before, but Jason of those vegan guys has tried this and so, you know, did a lunchtime taste test. And he was very impressed, especially for the £1.50 that it is. So we'll see, shall we? Right, well, that's definitely done. I just didn't have a half. Put it in for nine and a half minutes. Um, I'll take the lid off. Ooh. Right, let me see if I can flip. I know with this phone. Look at that, just come out the microwave. What do you think? It's not bad, does it? No, you're not having it. Ooh, let's have it a minute. Can you not? No. Come on. Get your beak out. Out. Come on. Get down. Get down. Oh, get down. Do as you're told. Look at any little. And he's starting to jump up on the work surfaces and it's just annoying me a bit when... All right, that looks okay. It smells quite nice. The only thing I hate is all these bloody long noodly pastery things. <laughs> Forget what you call it. Hang on. It is, it makes it hard to eat. Let's see. So, sauce. Let's do phone and that and this and that. Right, let's try again. So, it's had a few seconds. Uh, right. Let me try some of the mints. It hits hot. <laughs> Mm. I've got to say, that's not bad at all. For one pound fifty, uh, someone's found something to chew on. I can't do nothing, can I? Get down! Get down now! I learned to put his food away. Oh, it's sake, right. And so I've got to say, for £1.50, this is pretty good. Um, it is. There's plenty of it. You're not sort of thinking, where's the, <laughs> where's the food? Um... I definitely get some more of these in. I will definitely get some more in. Um, just as a backup meal. Because there are some days where I just really, really struggle with throwing a meal together. And um, these are just perfect. Mmm, the sauce is tasty. And, uh, the mince is okay. But yeah, these are perfect for me as a quick lunch. Um, or like when I'm really, really struggling to throw a meal together of any nature. Because there are some days where my energy is just like completely flat. So I just think, because I have um, often have the Marks and Spencers ones in, especially when they're on a, a yellow sticker. But they're like, what, what 4 50 for like one? And then about three quid for like or 
275 when uh, they're on a yellow splash. Um, but these are all right. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get a few more of these in. Mm. I'd easily just throw in the oven a garlic bread um, to go with it. Excuse me for the close up of my mug. <laughs> But it's hot and I'm hungry. So I've been the sorting office and I've collected my parcel and I've collected my parcel from Asda. And I've been phoning up the council because I've had a look. We've only got four rubbish bins for like six flats. It's really, really bad. And I've been complaining no end of time since I've moved in. And um, my son was like, oh, the bins are full. And I mean full, full, they're full. And I, when I've been out and come back, I had a look. And we're missing a bin. So it's obviously gone in the wagon. <clears throat> Nobody's reported it. So, uh, anyway, I phoned up the council and they're sending one out. Oh, it can take up to three weeks. Marvellous, eh? Although she says that's just the standard time of what it can be, but it's usually quicker than that. Um, so, yeah. Hmm. I'm definitely going to get this again. I just think for the money. I've got a really nice meal, actually. Oh, yeah, they're going to send me. Send us another bin out. And she says, see how you get on. And if we're still having a big bin problem, we'll sort out some bigger bins. So we'll see. Just talking to them about the bins is as bad as talking to Aldi about their veganuary stuff and keeping it. It falls on deaf ears. So we shall see. Um, right. Yeah, this is tasty. I wasn't expecting much from this, but it's really flavoursome. And you could add bits to this yourself. I mean, little bits of veg. Whatever you fancy. But I am just thinking a nice, crusty garlic bread baguette. Ooh. Mm. That would be nice. A bit of new shantop on it. A bit of new shantop. And that's it. Mm. Yeah, the more I eat of this, the more I like it. Mm. That's definitely filling a nice hole. Hmm. 
that's me done with that. That is really, really good. Mm. Right, that's that finished with. <laughs> that was tasty. So that's this from uh, Ubista. Uh, meat free spag, spag bowl, soya protein, mince in a tomato sauce over cooked pasta. Um, and it is just, there you go, vegan. I knew I'd seen it somewhere and I'm thinking, <laughs> vegan, there we go. I'll definitely be buying this again. <coughs> After I finish choking. So there you go, I think it's somewhere like 150. So if I find that in the freezers. It's just nice and easy for the days where you may be struggling or you're just somebody that just likes something on the cuff, on the go, quick, you know. Ain't got much time for standing around faffing around with food. That's, that's great. So, definitely a bargain buy. Right, catch you later, guys. And I got that from Asda, by the way. I don't know if I said <laughs> in the freezer bit. I don't know if the other supermarkets do it, but just keep an eyeballs out for that one because it's gorgeous. All right, catch you later. Bye.